good morning and welcome to the standing committee meetings for Wednesday, March 2nd, 2022. Council members are encouraging virtual public participation as there's limited seating in council chambers due to the number of COVID-19 infections in our area. All meetings will be live streamed on the city website and the city's YouTube channel. Our first order of business is roll call. Would a clerk please take the roll? Reverend Burgess. Mr. Coghill. Ms. Gross. Mr. Krause. Here. Mr. O'Connor. Here. Mrs. Cal Smith. Ms. Strasberger. Here. Mr. Wilson. Here. Mr. Laval Chair. Here. Five members present. Thank you. Our next order of business is public comment. I would like to remind all speakers that the rules of council state that comments are limited to matters of concern, official action, or deliberation, which are or may be before city council and profanity will not be permitted. Please provide your name and neighborhood for the record. You'll be given three minutes to speak. Our first speaker is Dr. Ronald Lynn Miller. Dr. Ronald Lynn Miller, Bell Suter and Singapore. Global Intelligence Society, U.S. National Candidate 2024. My primary email, if you want to contact me, is cgsii.rlm.globalintelligence at gmail.com. March 2022 is the GIS-sponsored Asian Intelligence Month. I and the Global Intelligence Society are seeking a link with Singapore, which the World Economic Forum identifies as first in um, competitive economy and infrastructure over the United States nationally. Um, concerns of Pittsburgh City Council include Asia and pre-university education. Mr. Krauss said, if I'm quoting him correctly, at the 9 February 2022 pre-agenda on public safety that there is not much we can do about some things. Um, Singapore's um, government controls the pre-university education of its children. Pittsburgh's government does not control the pre-university public education of Pittsburgh children. Singapore kids are top tier in international assessments of students, math, science, info, intel. Pittsburgh kids are borderline bottom. The Pittsburgh public schools is failing our children, our city, our country in reading and science uh, expertise. Uh, but the PPS is now including critical race theory and gender fluidity theory in elementary curricula. The offices of council and mayor say there is not much we can do about these two. There are many parents who are very upset about this. Um, so no matter how much uh, love Mr. Ganey says he has for this city and his children, no matter um, that uh, bubblegum brain KDKA broadcast this Ganey love, it is empty of info intel rigor. Love is not a substitute for DY over DX or our RNA dot DNA in information and intelligence mastery. Uh, there are two things that you can do that I and the Global Intelligence Society advocate as policy. Um, one, put down to the Pennsylvania General Assembly to scrap the fossilized 1949 PA public school code for a new one, um, ceding authority over public pre-university education to local city governments. But I and the GIS can find no evidence that Mr. Ganey or any of you counselors have said this. Uh, the second, uh, put up a public um, Pittsburgh alternative system. There's no legal impediment against doing that, but I don't think that you have the guts to do either one or two. So as I first proposed a decade ago, uh, we citizens put in place an alternative Pittsburgh public school system of nine districts um, that uh, each one of the districts would be headed by the um, uh, Counselor of, of the district, the board would be elected by the people of the district, and elementary, middle school, high school, and principals would be approved by referendum, and the curricula could be rejected by the district people uh, via referendum. Thank you. Our next registered speaker is Naomi Mullen. Hello. Shady trees, not shady deals in Bonaire. We, the people of Bonaire, have significant investment into our properties. We stand to lose significant value financially and quality of life reduction. The largest investment that the average American will make is their home. Our biggest assets are being threatened. This is why we as a community have expressed significant concern about the potential development of Bonaire School into anything other than a green space. We already had a valuable school stolen from our community. 
we deserve a valuable green space to replace it. Reparations are in order. The Pennsylvania Constitution states, under political powers, that all power is inherent in the people and all free governments are founded on their authority and instituted for their peace, safety, and happiness. Negligent infliction of emotional distress and blockbusting are being perpetrated by those who oppose our community. Real damages are occurring to the Bonaire community. I have no doubt that this controversy was a contributing factor to the demise of my husband. The PPS created this controversy against we, the property owners of Bonaire. My husband did his duty to promote the peace, safety, and happiness of the people he served. Will you as elected public servants do your duty to help the people of Bonaire? My husband, Michael, was duty bound his entire adult life. He completed his mission on earth well. He is now one of the watchers and helping in the spiritual realm. He is still a force with us. A neighbor wrote, I think one of the best ways we will honor him is to keep fighting for Bon Air and be kind to our neighbors. We will commit to that, I promise. Shady trees, not shady deals in Bon Air. Michael Mullen Memorial Green Space. Thank you. That exhausts our list of registered speakers. Do we have any speakers with us in chambers wishing to speak? Please come forward now. My name is Yvonne F. Brown. I live in the Hill District up at Katy River Irvis. I just figured out that I moved in Katy River Irvis 2013. 2013 is when I found out that we don't have a bus going from Katy River Irvis down to the bottom of the hill where Mercy Hospital is. In order for us or me to go to Mercy Hospital, I must go all the way through town to come back out. Okay. When they had the meeting about the buses, there was two lawyers, and I think they were with the Penguins, but the two white lawyers, I had said, because Mr. Uh, Lavelle did not even come, and I had said, you are making that busway for them college students. And you have. Look at all the new apartments, and the college students can go straight downtown. I must go through town, whereas all I want to do is get to the hospital at the bottom of the hill. And another thing I was explaining yesterday, I wanted you to understand that all these years they had been coming and saying to Mr. Lavelle, we don't have a bus. He would never answer me. But we got on the elevator one day and he says, Miss Brown, you keep asking me what about, uh, uh, he said, county council. I went to county council. I had petitions. I talked to DeWitt Walson. This man says to me, oh, this is this uh, politician, his sister lived in there. He said, my friend. And when he said her name, I said, no, she's not going to, uh, If it's, uh, I ain't got nothing to do with it. We still don't have a bus. And what it had a Christmas party, the face here on his wife, she's standing outside as we come in. She's saying, vote for my husband. I said, wait a minute, as a woman, you need to tell your husband so-and-so. And when I told her what he just said, oh, no, not my Joe. I said, oh, yes, you're Joe. So we go in. And we're at the table. Now, Joe DeFazio, I found out that he's died, but he had, was getting ready to have a hip operation, so he had a crutch. We're bending at the table, the three of us, and we're talking. That's when Dwight comes in. And I know I felt somebody standing up over there, and he, was, he started screaming at me. I don't appreciate you telling on me to the president of council. And they were scared. We were all scared because he scared us. And they said, no, no, Joe. No, no, she's not talking about you. And that's what I said. They do me like this all the time. You politicians will take and try to cut me out, but I'm still coming with my loud mouth. I asked the Reverend to pray that I don't speak so loud. He said, if I don't, he said, no, the old people won't hear. So I'm not worried about you young people. The old people like me, because you know what? I look at this 75 years I've been this city, I was born 75 years ago. My mother told me, watch out. She was scared of white people. She was scared of police, but she said the black people, those are the ones that does us so bad. And I, I, Mr. Lavelle, I feel that you are one like my mother. You and Wheatley, well, both of you see how bad you do the black people. That's what my mother would say about that. Thank you. Any further speakers in chambers? 
Wishing to speak, please come forward. Greetings in La Kea La Ka'ing in my indigenous language. I am Ikahana Hal Makina, the Grand Inca of the Iroquois Confederacy of Aboriginal American people. I stand before you today, city council members, asking for your support of indigenous people, for this is the land of the indigenous people. We are the Rotonosumi. We are the Onkwe Homewe. We are the stewards of this land. And somehow we've been left out of the equation. And so I appeal to your hearts, I appeal to your conscience, that you work directly with us in order to open up the doors for us to continue to be good stewards of the land and also to contribute to the community as we're already doing. We do random acts of kindness, which is not really why I'm here, but we do things to support the neighborhood, to support the community, especially the youth. And so there are youth programs that we would like to start within the city of Pittsburgh, and we would like the support of city council members in order to do so, in order to positively impact the negativity that is going on. I recently was traveling over to Carrick High School, and a fight broke out, literally this week. And I was appalled that this violence continues, and there are things that can be done. I had a, a conversation with the school police um, member, and he's a good friend of mine, someone I went to high school with, and he said, what's happening, you know, and we had this conversation about how things could be different. Fights broke out when we were in high school, indeed, but not to this degree and this magnitude and the volumes that we are seeing. And so something must be done, and there are people willing and ready and waiting in the wings to gird up these issues, to take on these issues directly. And so will you reach out? Will you do what's necessary to support us in our efforts? We're already doing the work, but we've reached out to several city council members asking for a building, simply asking for a building that sits idle and unused on our land. We're looking for community garden space so we can grow our own food and be self-sustaining, but there are roadblocks in our way. And no one from city council is eager to work with us yet. No one has expressed a desire to say, you know what, indigenous people do matter. If this is a city for all, that would include indigenous people. And you purport that this is a city for all. And so when will city council take up the, the mantle and begin to establish this relationship that is long established in House Congress Re Resolution 331? It's also established in a constitution under Article 1, Section 2, Clause 3 of the Constitution. And so you have the precedence in law, as I know you're very law-abiding people. So the precedence is there. Take the action. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our, our last registered speaker has joined us online. So I'm going to go to Alex Stein. Yo, um, this is Alexander Stein. I want to say thank you for allowing me to speak, but I have some serious issues. Uh, my wife is named Dana Stein, and I'm having issues with a, uh, a county employee that has been having an affair behind my back with my wife. And you guys know this county employee is actually a well-known person, and I don't want to publicly expose him. I'd like to give them the ability to come out and uh, just admit to it because I have my ring video camera in my house. I have disgusting things on the camera. They're doing disgusting things to my wife. They're using utensils from the kitchen. They're doing, this is a bad representation of Pittsburgh, the stuff they did with my wife. And we're Mormon. Sexually, we're not even supposed to be experimental like this. So we really need to, the person that's responsible for this in the Pittsburgh city department, they need to stand up and take responsibility because this is embarrassing, not just for me, but for my wife. If I share this and our kids see this, people in our community see this, it's disgusting. And so I'm, I'm asking the council to please step in and help me because I'm, I'm really at a loss for words. I'm so lonely. Ever since I got the vaccine, I haven't been able to make love to my wife because I'm suffering from impotence. And so I don't know what I'm going to do. And I said, oh, we can have an open marriage. That's fine. And I made a mistake. And now I feel so guilty about it because I still love her. And I never wanted to see her with another man. 
It pains me so much to have another man come in my house and I have to be at work and I see it on the ring camera and they go inside my room and they do stuff in there that I can't even do anymore. All because I'm triple vaccinated because I had to in order to be, in order to keep my job. Yet this guy gets to work in the county. He's not vaccinated. He's in my house every single day doing stuff that I can't even imagine. And why? And why? All because of Tony Fauci. Thank you. Are there any further speakers with us in council and or line? Seeing none, that moves us to our regular agenda, um, our, standing, our standing committee agenda, excuse me. Our first committee of the day is finance and law, which is chaired by myself. Our first deferred paper is Bill 95. <clears throat> Bill 95, resolution establishing the Pittsburgh Affordable Housing Implementation and Finance Committee. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Bill is recommended. Bill 109. Bill 109, resolution authorizing the issuance of a warrant in favor of Ronald James Madero in the amount of $125,000 relating to the full and final settlement of a case filed in the United States District Court for the Western District of Pennsylvania. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Bill is recommended. That takes us to new papers, Bill 135. Bill 135, resolution further, amending resolution number 647 entitled, resolution adopting and approving the 2021 capital budget and the 2021 CDBG program the 2021 through 2026 capital improvement program by reducing bridge upgrades by $1,700,000 and increasing 30th Street Bridge by $1,700,000. Read 136 as well. And 136, resolution further, amending resolution number 886, adopting and approving the 2022 capital budget and the 2022 CDBG program and the 2022 through 2027 capital improvement program by reducing bridge preservation and restoration fund by $800,000 and increasing 30th Street Bridge by $800,000. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Both bills are recommended. Bill 137. Bill 137, resolution amending resolution number 713, authorizing the mayor and the director of the Department of Finance to enter on behalf of the city into an amended agreement of sale and with Smith and Boeing and all documents necessary to purchase 80 Wabash Street, along with two vacant parcels adjacent thereto, for a total amount not to exceed $374,000, which include the purchase price of $344,000, plus up to $30,000 in acquisition costs for the purpose of continued operation of the city's West End Healthy Active Living Center. Motion to approve. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill is recommended. That takes us to Bill 138. And no. We'll need a motion to hold one week. Bill 138, resolution providing for the sale of certain property acquired by the city and tax sale item A through C, 2514 Park Hill, 1018 Marina, and 138 Wabash. One week, please. Discussion? Yeah, I'd like to get on these properties. I think I know what they're for, but I just want to make sure. Before next Before week. Before next week, yeah. Okay. So all those in favor of one week hold, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill will be held one week. Bill 139. Bill 139, resolution repealing items and resolutions approved for various dates, which authorize the sale of property in various wards in the city due to incompletion of sale. Items A, 7110 race. Approved. Second. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Bill is recommended. <laughs> Bill 140. Bill 140, resolution providing for the conveyance by the city of certain property having been placed for sale to adjourning property owners in conjunction with the city of Pittsburgh side yard programs item A and B, 220 Carver and 7127 race. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill is recommended. That takes us to invoices. Need a motion to approve. Or move. Second. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Invoices are approved. Need a motion to approve the P cards. So moved. Second. Discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? P cards are approved. 
That takes us to Public Safety Services Committee, chaired by Councilman O'Connor. Uh, one deferred mm -hmm. paper, Bill 32. Bill 32, Ordinance Amending and Supplementing the Pittsburgh Code of Ordinances, Title I, Administrative Article Three, Organization Chapter 116, Department of Public Safety, by adding a new Section 116.17, Regulation of Pedestrian Stops by Officers of the Bureau of Police. Uh, I didn't hear from Public Safety a motion to hold, I'm assuming. Yes, um, let's hold for what, two weeks, Mr. Chance? No, yeah, motion. Mm -hmm. Question? Discussion? I'm sorry. Yeah, just very brief. I've been meaning to ask to join as a sponsor on the bill. If we could note that, please. Sure. Thank you. So noted. Uh, with that, motion to hold two weeks. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill will be held two weeks. That takes us to Public Works Committee, chaired by Councilman Coghill. One deferred paper, Bill 104. Bill 104, resolution authorizing the mayor and director or acting director of the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure on behalf of the city yes. through the city's Department of Law to adopt certain settlement terms and enter into a settlement agreement with Norfolk Southern Railway, Manchester Citizens Corporation, Northside Leadership Conference, and Rail Pollution Protection Pittsburgh in order to resolve claims arising from the application of Norfolk Southern Railway Company for approval to reconstruct the crossing of the North Avenue Brighton Bridge Doc docketed at Public Utility Commission and from Northside Leadership Conference, Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission appeal docketed at number 611 CD 219 in the Commonwealth Court. Motion to hold one week. Second. Discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill will be held one week. That takes us to our new papers, Bill 128. Bill 128, resolution providing for an agreement with CDM for construction inspection and, con and contract administration services for the 30th Street Bridge Preservation Project and providing for the payment of costs not to exceed $384,401.24. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Bill is recommended. Bill 129. Bill 129, resolution amending resolution number 662 authorizing the mayor and the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure to apply for a grant from the Redevelopment Authority of Allegheny County's Gaming Economic Development Fund up to $500,000 to provide funding for the construction of a pedestrian bridge at Davis Avenue to accept the grant and authorize necessary expenditures. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Bill is recommended. Bill 130. Bill 130, resolution authorizing the mayor and the director of the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure to receive grant funding from the Southwestern Pennsylvania Commission under the Congestion Mitigation and Air Quality Improvement Program funding for the Frankstown Avenue Signal Replace Replacement Project in the amount of $3,322,679. Motion to amend. Second. Motion, motion to, approve. to approve first. Motion to approve. Second. Second it. Motion to amend. Second. Always happy to help. There you go, Vice. Motion to amend and second it. <laughs> Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Now on the bill as amended. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill is recommended. Bill 131. Bill 131, resolution amending resolution number 659 entitled Resolution authorizing the mayor of the city and the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure to apply for a grant from the Redevelopment Authority of Allegheny County's Gaming Economic Development Fund for up to $500,000 to provide funding for the development of the West End Trolley Trail to accept the grant and authorize necessary expenditures. Motion to approve brief discussion. Second. Yes, second discussion. Too. discussion. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I will I will defer to, to the Madam President, but I am curious as to where, where this is. I, I don't know. You know? So this is actually, a, it's a long story. I um, started it probably about four years before I ever thought to run for office. And it was started with a little island. And do you remember the guy that worked in real estate, Bill uh, Waddell? Yes. Remember him? So he said to me, I, I had just spent like over $500 on flowers for this little island out of my own pocket. And he said, why don't you take the whole thing? I said, why well, am I said, just that little you know, section for the flowers. He said, no, the whole block and lot, it's an old trolley line. 
And I said, well, what would I do with that? It cost me $500 for this little island out of my own pocket. He said, no, the city has a program called the Green Up Program or Green Something Program. And he said, and you could do the whole block and lot and as a trail, and you could work with Penn State Extension. So that's what I started. And it was four years before, at least four years before I ever ran for office. And it's finally coming to fruition. The first half happened. It's a trail of all recycled material, and it starts at the Craft and Borough line. We worked with Craft and Borough, and Craft and Borough is doing their, their section, or they did their section. And it will go all the way down into the West End, uh, what the people know as McGann's Corner. It will go um, behind the Old Stone Tavern. So the Old Stone Tavern was purchased. So it will tie in nicely with what they're doing there, too. So, nice. Yeah. It's a big project. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Councilman. Yeah, you know, it's, Madam President, I mean, uh, it, it sounds like that um, almost gets it to the point where we can go across that trolley and right into the Greenway at yes. that amount, you know. Yes. So I was curious as to yeah. where that started and Something ended. Like, you know, Shaler, the, the trail on the bottom of Shaler, Mount Washington, um, that connects to it too. Oh. It connects to a lot of trails. And so it's it's really an important piece. But honestly, the, Bill Waddell is the one who gave me the idea. So I want to make sure I give him credit. He passed away. But he would, if you knew Bill Waddell, he would look at every parcel in the city of Pittsburgh and tell you about somebody's life, their kids. I mean, he really intimately knew the residents of the city of Pittsburgh across the entire region. I wish I would have recorded him while he was still living mm -hmm. because it was so amazing. He was so amazing. So he's the one who helped me with this. So I want to make sure I give him acknowledgement. Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill is recommended. That takes us to Land Use Economic Development Committee, chaired by Councilman Wilson. First deferred paper is Bill 12. Bill 12, ordinance amending and supplementing the city code at Title VI Conduct Article I, regulated rights and actions by adding a new Chapter 610 entitled Prohibition on Use of Certain Bags and Checkout Bags Charge to permit the use of only certain bags by retail establishment at the point of sale or for a delivery and establishing a charge payable by the customer to the establishment for the provision of other types of bags, all under certain terms and conditions. Motion to hold three weeks. Okay. Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Held three weeks. Bill 65. Bill 65, resolution amending resolution number 863, entitled Adopting and Approving the 2019 CDBG Program by Transferring Remaining Funds from the James Street Step Reconstruction Project to the Northside Christian Health Center, $76,000, and traffic calming, $14,220.54. Motion to hold one week. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill be held one week. That takes us to our last committee, Intergovernmental Affairs Committee, chaired by Councilwoman Gross. We have one paper, Bill 132. Bill 132, resolution amending resolution number 201, entitled Resolution Providing for an Agreement with the Fair Housing Partnership of Greater Pittsburgh to provide training on the Fair Housing Act to staff of the City of Pittsburgh, Urban Redevelopment Authority, and or Housing Authority of the City and to private landlords operating in Pittsburgh and to provide quarterly presentations and technical assistance on the Fair Housing Act to staff of the city, urban redevelopment authority and or housing authority of the city in an amount not to exceed $259,000 to change the funding source for budget years 2022 through 2024 to the CDBG administration line item. Motion to approve. Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Bill is recommended. That exhausts our agenda. We do have meeting announcements next week. Council will hold our regular and standing committee meetings on Tuesday, March 8th, and Wednesday, March 9th, respectively. Both meetings will be held at 10 a.m. To register to speak, please fill out the sign up form on council meeting webpage by 9 a.m. the morning of said meeting. You will also may call the clerk's office at 412 255 2138. Is there anything from members? Councilman Burgess. Um, I'd like to make a motion to, um, to hold seven public televised post agendas, um, theoretically five in Pittsburgh, two in Wilkinsburg. Public hearings. Public hearings, rather. Yeah, what did I say? Public hearings, public hearings on the uh, potential Wilkinsburg annex, annexation. Thank you. Second, with discussion. Discussion. Yeah. Have you had meetings yet with your task force? Have they had a meeting? Um, we, we have just set up a process. Um, we're trying to put all the process together first, so we have everything in place. Then we'll have the meetings about 
where, how, what to do. So Daniel, um, the chairman and I have just chatted about what the overall process would look like and putting those pieces together. That's all. Okay. I just want to say, don't forget the other members of the task force. That's yeah, we, we were we were trying to remember who they were. We know it's we know it's yeah, we know it's Cog Hill. We didn't know who else it was. Woman Gross. I knew it was what I knew it was Anthony. I didn't I didn't know it was Deborah too. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh Councilman Coghill, then Councilman Wilson. Uh, yeah, just a couple of questions. Are we planning to do this in person in the communities or are we just doing them here? We, we haven't discussed it. No, we haven't. Okay. Discussed it. Got it. Okay. We're just, we're just putting yeah. all the, we're just gathering all the material in the front end so that when we meet, we don't have to have all, you know, we can just go do it. Wilson? Just a point of clarity. We can have hearings outside of the city of Pittsburgh. Is that true? Well, we could. I'm not sure, we don't know the answer. I don't know the answer to that question. But the idea would be that we would be invited, hopefully. That's our thought. I didn't know if it had to be like a different. Um, anyway, are, I just want to make sure we're not. Wilkinsburg. You know, whatever Wilkinsburg, we're doing. Wilkinsburg has sent us a letter <laughs> saying that they will, they will add two members of their council to our group. Yeah, I'm, I'm not opposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know yet. You know, a format, a type of format. I just want to make sure that so we don't know we that can yet. do business like that outside the city. We don't know yet, so we just right. put the pieces together and we'll 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 do as we can. We don't know. We don't know yet. Else, I would just add that I you know, really want to make sure Wilkinsburg is included. So I appreciate that you're trying to get one there too. Yeah, I like the idea. Yeah. Oh. I don't want to create the same process we just voted down. That's all. Yep. All those and yeah, I just wanted to add. Um, is there a reason why we're having? Did you say eight? Seven. Seven. seven? Yeah. Because yeah. we feel we need seven. Well, we don't. Yeah. Sorry. The the idea being to hold one north, south, east, right. west, okay. and central in the city, and then do two in actual Wilkinsburg, assuming our our colleagues in Wilkinsburg are willing to have us. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah. That's that's fine. We could do less. Well, <laughs> we could always knock it back one or two if we yeah, need to, right? <laughs> Good deal. Any, anything else? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 You opposed? So we'll work with the clerk's office to uh, begin scheduling those seven meetings, and we'll ask the clerk to work with the respective council members in those areas of the city to identify their appropriate location. Anything else from members? If not, need a motion to excuse the absent members, approve the minutes, and adjourn the meeting. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? We are adjourned.